Hey everyone, um, okay, so, uh, I've loads of things that I kind of want to talk about and things that happen and what not, but today I had a really, really uh, good day for me. Um, I've, I have uh, re-angled the camera in this video because um, I want you to have the opportunity to um, see what's behind me, a different angle of the kitchen, but mainly because... My pizza just arrived, and there's not enough room on the table, so I have to yeah, readjust everything. So, um, yeah, I, I have a um, TN joint dysfunction. It's a muscular uh, injury in the face, and um, basically what it is, I pulled all the muscles in my face, and, uh, uh, and I can't eat certain foods. I can't eat chunky food. I can't... Uh, can't eat anything chunky, I can't chew anything because the muscles aren't strong enough and they're all tight and it's, it tends to be very painful. Like anyone who has it will know and um, like sometimes you wait you can get very sick from it. And you could wake up with really bad headaches like uh, and then uh, like uh, for a few mornings uh, in a row now I've kind of I've woken up in the morning and it feels like someone got a fish net wrapped my brain in it and then started kind of pulling tight on it and it was a really kind of sharp pain and it wasn't uh, it wasn't particularly nice either but um yeah so uh, i rang up a friend of mine who's an osteopath and uh, she um she does dry needling and uh, a lot of doctors out there will say there is no treatment and they'll put you on meds and everything else and, but there is a treatment it's dry needling it's um it's worked for me it's um it it relieves a lot of the pain it opens up the uh, the bundles of muscle and like uh, um but the thing the reason today was really good was because uh, um Usually I have to travel up to the north, up to Cavan, to uh, get treatment done. But um, I rang the girl and she said she was busy. But um, a friend of hers has a clinic in the town where I live. And um, it's maybe an 8 euro taxi ride to get out to her. And uh, 35 euro for a session. And uh, it was really good because um, she... It, it, when I was growing up, I, I always kind of had the, this joint here keeps on popping out, and you get that kind of finger clicky kind of noise. Like the first time I actually realised other people could hear that noise was when I was on a bus, a coach, and you're not supposed to be eating on the coach. And um, I had a Mars bar, which is really chewy, and as I was eating it, um my jaw was clicking and like everyone in the bus knew I was eating because they could hear my jaw and um, yeah it was really loud and it got pretty painful and it took me ages to get it diagnosed as well but um, yeah x-ray after x-ray showed nothing wrong but then eventually eventually got sorted but um, yeah and she's only or like around the corner so I can go up and get regular treatments and um, yeah and it, it, oh, like Ah, there's no more pain, and like, it's really weird because when I rub around here, I can feel the muscle. And um, like, there, there used to be a time where I couldn't feel muscle here because they were so tight, it just felt like it was just bone. But they've really loosened up. I'm not in pain, which is a huge relief. So usually, uh, I'd be in a lot of pain, and she done work here. She she found out. Uh, the, we never really known what's caused it. Like, there, you know, if you look online, they give you loads of uh, different reasons. Um, whether it could be like uh, bad eating habits, whether you eat a lot of food and one side of your mouth or you're chewing gum, or you grind your teeth in your sleep, and all this kind of stuff. Now, whether or not I grind my teeth in my sleep, I don't know. But um, I I have problems with my back as well. And uh, I got work done on my back a few months ago because I thought it was to do with my back. And I got it manipulated. I got a lot of work done on it. But um, 
it was uh, today when I went to see this girl, she was looking at my back and found that most of the, the tension is in my trapezius muscles, which are just around here. And um, they put pressure on the neck, all the way to the back of the neck, all the way up to the top of the skull, and then all the muscles around your head. And um, that's what um, causes all the pain. And it was it, it was cool because there's someone really close by who can treat it. And, and, and uh, I can do it. And, uh, so I've had a really, I've, I've been really good today. Uh, I'm not in pain. I've had a bit of work done, and um, yeah, it was cool. If anyone else has seen DD, leave a comment and see how it's been affecting you. And, you know, like I know it's miserable. I know it's it's really hard to live with at the best of times and it doesn't help when you get stressed either because when you get stressed that puts more pressure on all the muscles. So yeah, um or have you heard any other treatments for it, you know? Like I found out the dry needling was uh, because I, I met a uh, Chinese doctor uh, uh, who was in a hair clinic and I was telling him about it to get a Chinese massage and he, he had TMJD as well and he said you don't need a massage, you need dry needling and then um, if it's done properly I'm telling you, you could go months and you would have no pain and then um, so if anyone does have TMJD and your doctor is telling you that there is no treatment you know, there's no point in taking any meds, the meds don't help, I, I've taken the meds and um, massaging, it, it helps, but it, it, it does help. But there's nothing more effective than the dry needling. I mean, the dry needling can do so much work. It hurts. Now, don't get me wrong, it does hurt. Um, the dry needling, if you're not familiar, is um, where they stick needles, like in acupuncture needles, in directly into the muscle and then. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it, and it hurts. But it only hurts for a little while, and then the pain goes away. And you, you can literally feel the muscles relieve themselves. It's kind of like, um, hold on, here. it's like a piece of paper. I, look at this. This is like my muscle. And after acupuncture, it's like you can feel it kind of opening the muscle out. And that's how I describe the release after and yeah it's really good so anyone who has one, who has uh, the MJD muscular um, should definitely uh, give it a go because it works uh, hey I'm happy anyway that's all for now if you have uh, any questions comments blah 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 uh, I don't know leave a comment or rate me five stars because I'm lost um, or you know whatever anyway please later